Troy, hello. Good to hello. see you. We've been meaning to do this for a long time, to Absolutely. have a little chat about the school. So I thought it'd be really helpful to start off with a very simple question. Why? Why did you do this? Why in 2002 did you decide to set up an online school? Well, uh, it's basically, I, I was a teacher um, in Hertfordshire. Uh, children struggle uh, to cope in lessons and uh, as a teacher you cope with 30 children. One teacher, 30 children, it's actually quite a challenge. Um, particularly when you factor in that lots of children have uh, different abilities. You've got some with SEND, that's special educational needs and disabilities. Um, and they need a, a very particular um, a guidance and support. And then of course you've got those uh, high flyers, the ones that want to fly through the course. Uh, well, you'll know all about that. Flying through the course, uh, you know, come on teacher, arms folded, you know, come on, what's going on? And then, of course, you've got the middle group, that, that mass of kids, uh, sort of 20 kids usually or something like that. Um, and a lot of teachers teach to that middle because they frankly don't have the time or the resources to be able to devote the attention to those who need it most, to those people who want to accelerate their learning and those people who are really struggling to keep up. So the differentiation problem is where it started. Effectively, what I did is I, I put my resources, the whole course, frankly, uh, online, but it was online at a time when nobody was doing it. Um, so this is, we're talking about 2002, so this is three years before YouTube. I mean, everybody thinks YouTube was like forever, <laughs> like my daughter, she thinks it's, it's, it's since forever. But uh, the idea that um, you know, a school teacher was going to put these uh, resources online for students to, to learn um, very much self-directed and directed by the resource was actually quite innovative. I didn't know anything about HTML, which is the coding language for websites. Uh, I learned that over one summer uh, because I wanted to, to make this easier for students. And it was really remarkable because what happened was, was once I'd got all the computers into the classroom, which in itself was innovative, nobody had computers in a classroom. I was teaching <laughs> art and design, so it was really quite incredible. Everybody thought uh, that I was the crackpot in the school. Well, that, that probably hasn't changed <laughs> very much. I am the crackpot in the school, uh, in that sense. So what I did is um, I thought I need some computers, so I tapped up the, uh, the accounts officer who were throwing away um, computers and uh, took them out, literally took them out of the skip and set them up uh, on benches, which I went, I went in one, uh, one weekend and, uh, with a friend and we just cobbled together these benches and we put the, the um, computers on there and then loaded my uh, resource onto it and then basically a little training thing where I got everybody um, versed on how it, how it works and then I trained up the special educational needs department downstairs and even the teacher who was teaching the special educational needs, uh, she actually got a GCSE and an A-level using my resources um, and it was really remarkable and I've got a fantastic video of her talking about how it changed her life because she then went on to university so mm -hmm. it was transformative even for the teacher uh, well she wasn't a teacher she was a, she was a learning support system for supporting kids with special education needs so that was the main reason it went online but you know it's a much longer story about where how we got to where we go where we are today of course no comparison but essentially that was the driving force it was trying to empower individuals to take responsibility for their own learning so that they weren't so reliant upon me as a teacher because I felt a massive responsibility mm -hmm. to help those kids. And I was failing. And I'm conscious that so many teachers actually are failing in the classroom because they can't possibly manage 30 children, some of whom didn't even speak the, the, the language. I remember going on um, you know, translation uh, uh, um, websites to try and help communicate basic things to students. And, and there was massive, in the high stakes education um, arena, you've got to get, if you want to keep your job in a state school, you've got to get the results. Mm. There's, no, there's no, no other way, you've got to get the results. And the pressure was overwhelming. So I leveraged technology, even though I was very nervous about it, leveraged technology to overcome it. And we got from 2% A star to C's, which is when, the, when I took over the department, um, it was 2% A star to C's. And we got to 98%. Uh, wow. So and that, was, that was in, in very, very short order. So I knew from that point on, technology was the way forwards. Um, and I also knew that actually not being the conceited teacher where you kind of guard very jealously all of the content of the, of the course, uh, what you do is you say, actually, look, I'm going to teach you what the content is, and then I'm going to support you in taking charge of your own learning. And online technology does that. And actually, the online school that we've got at the moment is, in, is incredible 
in the sense that what you've got is you've got so much more independence as learners. And universities are crying out for these people. You know, this spoon-fed generation, it's, it's crazy what's going on in schools. I mean, univer after 11 years of investment from a student, they get to university, if they're lucky, um, and when they get there, the universities are saying, well, did you go to school? You, you, you can't write properly, you, you don't, you, you're, you're an innumerate. What is going on? And it's because the system is failing. And one of the reasons it's failing is because they're not leveraging technology. And in my book that I'm just uh, coming to the uh, completion of, uh, I talk about how, how teachers can leverage technology in the state sector in particular, because that is, although, although my company is a private company and it's funded by um, the uh, fees, uh, my heart really is in the state sector and helping impoverished children mo most particularly, um, because that's, I grew up in that environment. I, I grew up in a council state in Essex. And um, for me, you know, the advantages weren't all there. I came from a very loving home, but there was no money and I couldn't really afford what I'm now offering to a lot of people. So ultimately what I want to do is move that into a free school environment.